far right Madhusudan. So suppose I am here. This is my SAP system. Suppose SAP ECC. Okay. Okay. Try to understand. Now, what is my requirement? Okay. Suppose mm -hmm. I'm not working with the S4 HANA environment. Simple. Or suppose this is my AWS. Okay. System. EWM or TL. Okay. Because we are going to learn about the EWM. So we will learn this. Now I want to send some data from ECC to suppose I want to send, send material or plant. Okay. From ECC to EWM system. Understood. Okay. So sending the material or plant, we need one bridge. Through this bridge, actually, Correct. through this way. Suppose, suppose that this is a road. Through this way, okay. our material or plant will reach from one system to another system. Okay, okay. So system could be SAP, both side SAP system. So because this is SAP, suppose SAP ECC we have, and this is SAP EWM, EWM TM we have. Understood. So in this condition, both side we have SAP systems for the system. Correct, yes. Now assume you don't have a CP system in your cross environment because okay. EWM is a capable to send the data from different servers also, non systems, non server like non SAP systems also. Do you know this? Like legacy systems like Oracle and people's software. Ah, yes, 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 yes. EWM also yeah. is a capable to send the data from one EWM system to another EWM system, one EWM yeah. system to another uh, like different cross application system. So what you will do? So, so, so see, in this case, this bridge, you have to first create one bridge. Configure. So if you want to reach, if you want to send okay. something from source of destination, you have to create one bridge. So when you try to send something from this ECC system, uh -huh. ECC system, this system will become sender system. Uh -huh. Or this system will, we can call as a okay. source system source. Understood. Yeah. Okay. And this EWM. PM or suppose Oracle or .NET server, suppose non SAP system will become or we can call to that system okay. as a destination system. Or we see, because when we send the material or plant or some business data from one ECC to EWM, <coughs> uh -huh. so data will go out from the system. Correct. And it will go inside the system. Correct. That's why we can call this system as an outbound system. Data is coming this system. Okay. That's why we can call this as an inbound system. Understood. Yeah. So here, here we uh, work with the inbound queues, outbound queues. When we do the SIF, sometimes queues got stuck. QRFC. Now I will yeah. tell you in depth actually. Oh, RFC works okay. actually what happens. Yeah. What is yeah I'll, ju I'll just tell you beforehand that I know uh, how to check SMQ1, SMQ2 and stuff, but configuring stuff, I'm not uh, an expert. I want to learn from you that part. Definitely, definitely. I will teach you. Yeah. So, you know, RFC, how it works actually, Sing what is synchronous RFC, what is asynchronous RFC, what is queued RFC? No, 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 please tell me. Uh, I am not expert, please. So there is a few ways to send the data from source to destination. It, the destination mm. server will be SAP okay. system or non-SAP server. In okay. case, yes. here, in the general case, what we can use, first basic we use here RFC. What okay. is an RFC actually? RFC means remote function call. Calling the okay. function module remotely. One more thing. Okay. RFCs are nothing but function modules. These are the remote enabled function module. Function okay. module one concept is there into the SAP. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit of the function modules? The benefit function modules are nothing but one kind of block or okay. one kind of method or one kind okay. of basket means okay. if you provide any business functionality in that function module, Madhul Sudan, the benefit uh -huh. of this function module, you can use this function module in entire R3 in moment, in entire server, okay. 
everywhere you can use this functional modules and these are the reusable okay. components okay understood few more concept are there subroutines this is a technical part subroutines or methods uh -huh. okay the drawbacks with the subroutines i will show you the business logic also in my classes yeah like we use include include is there include suppose okay. suppose include r s d this is a enhancements so so include okay. subroutines means you cannot use subroutines everywhere actually suppose you are creating okay. one code just a little you suppose you are creating one program suppose okay. you develop with a web a web report which is achieving the ewm okay. functionality business okay. logic okay. are there so your report name is start with the report keyword report means program right executable uh -huh. you can execute and you can get Correct. an output the, the the actual use of this report is get the data from the database table process it and display the output like elv report the correct reports are there right into the gui yeah. on gui but the drawbacks with the subroutine subroutine you cannot use out of this report but if you have a function module suppose this is your system r3 system or s4 system r3 architecture or s4 okay suppose this is your r3 or s4 architecture mm -hmm. everywhere you can use that function module the one more benefit okay one more benefit out of this system out of this r3 or s4 okay. environment you can use that function module because function module we have three types of uh -huh. normal update or remote enable mostly we work with the remote enable now the first country base, basic uh, step i will tell you so what we have to do now our main centralized now i'm talking about the centralized system so suppose this is a sap ecc system okay okay and we have this is aws system okay first we need to create one link uh -huh. link means we need to create one road one way okay. one path then we can send the material plant everything from one system to another system now we will come to the basic so this cross application con concept is used to distribute the data between two same servers or through different two non sap system or two sap systems so this concept like qrfcs okay. or rfc we call interfaces actually because you know okay. how to do the shift how to do the shift and everything so yeah. this concept we call madhusudan as a interfaces so through this interface we can talk so we can share the data in between two system or servers now this is the way actually okay. this is the normal remote enable and update function modules are there rfc we mostly use here that is the advanced version ali edi idocs i will also cover in this uh, classes actually okay Uh, application link enabling and electronic data interchange and intermediate documents that means business application programming interface okay so first we will start from the very basic rfc so what is an rfc or i told you remote function is call one function module remotely okay call the function module which is located in remote system simple so this is sap specific protocol and when we use the rfc this is theory part uh mancheo oh, your voice is breaking is it okay now hello uh, can you hear my voice now is it okay uh, mancheo your voice is breaking acha just sure sorry if you are able to is it okay madam okay just hold on just hold on just hold on Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, yes. voice is breaking, man. अच्छा, and how is it now, Madhusudan? Still is breaking, right? Yeah, better, better now. No, no, now it's better. Okay. So, okay. So I will restart after this demo. After this class, I will restart the system. I'm sorry. Uh, restart okay. the router. I think the router router need to restart router. Okay. So RFC function call. So remote enable function means calling a function module remotely. So 
So when we use this RFC, this is a certification. And seriously, if you all tell all these things to into the, your interface, uh, sorry, in interview now, Madhu, uh -huh. that okay. will really impress to the interviewer. So you can tell this uh, point also. SAP uses CPI, Common Programming Interface for Communication. This is a protocol actually. Okay. 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 Now come come down. We have three type of RFCs. Mostly okay. we use these three, but we have total four. First, synchronous RFC. Another one is asynchronous, transactional, and queued RFC. Synchronous means oh. suppose that I will give you one report. Z report or program report program. You will write some coding. Okay. Well, any function module, one import parameter come here, one export parameter will come here. Okay. Okay. Another system also, when this function module will reach, one import parameter will come also here, one export parameter will come here also. You find uh -huh. that. Hmm. Yes, same thing. So means means okay. what I'm trying to explain you. Hmm. Import call function is if you send if you this is one house. This uh -huh. is your second house. Uh -huh. You shift your house from one one A suppose Bangalore to Mumbai suppose. Okay. Okay. Lari people, you hire uh, hire will one uh, actually uh, that what we call. They are uh, packers, packers, and movers. packers and movers. Packers and movers will start yeah. from here and it will hold your all the your household uh -huh. item without uh -huh. reaching here. It will come back to you. <laughs> okay. Is it good? Uh, it's not okay. Not then good. what? In what cases do you use this? Uh, no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't use this actually. But why okay. I have mentioned this concept actually? You should know everything. Mostly things. Okay. Okay. Few things we have which we don't use actually, which uh -huh. we are older, but we should know. We should technically. Okay. 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 My question here. Use. This is your ECC system. This is your EWM system. Underscore. I told you babies are you cannot call that function Who's system or server. These are remote enabled, is it? Uh, if uh, a particular uh, function module is actually. okay. You created one function model, which is the you will clear more function module. How the function module? Here to here. Okay, okay. So that okay. acknowledgement will come here. Send sales order. Both system will be 